So good afternoon. Hello, everyone. I have a, a background in technology and in magic. And magicians are interesting. Their illusions accomplish what technology cannot. But what happens when the technology of the day seems almost magical? What happens when you can do this? Now, 100 years ago, that would have been the magic of levitation. Is it possible to create illusions in a world where technology makes anything possible? Jump. Now, if you know how the trick is done, where is the illusion? But still, our imagination is more powerful than our reasoning. And it's easy to attribute personality to machines. These are quadcopters, but they are more than mechanical flying machines. They analyze the environment around them and react to everything I do. Advanced algorithms allow these autonomous machines to fly in close formation, aware of each other, aware of me. Mathematics that can be mistaken for intelligence, and intelligence for personality. Anthropomorphism, that's the illusion. An illusion created by technology and embroidered by our imagination to become an intelligent flying robot. A machine that appears to be alive. I think they say hello. That's it. Okay, guys. Thank you. <laughs> okay, everybody. Time to go home. How about you all come over here? Right here. There you go. A little bit to the left. Okay, everybody. Right in there, where the other one is. Okay, no pushing. No pushing. You over there, come. Everybody in. Hey, escapist. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, the presentation with these flying robots is a, a combination of technology and illusion. It's created to explore our interaction with the Internet of Things, as these become commonplace. Intelligent machines aware of every gesture and always at our command. It would look like magic. The authoring environment I use to program these uses immersive augmented reality. I use Microsoft HoloLens and I plan the trajectories and the flight path in Unity. I then use the I then test fly the choreographies using my HoloLens before I actually deploy the robots. The choreographies are directly loaded from within Unity into the little robots. I use, utilize toy drones which have downward facing cameras which track this massive tracking marker here on the stage. It's like a big magical carpet. Each vehicle has its own internal flight planner and is completely independent. It creates a very robust system that has no single point of failure and is very, very easy to set up. Now, a lot of what I do for Accenture and at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory is about bringing technological stories to life. We think of it as prototyping the future, creating a dramatic visualization of technologies yet to be implemented. For the development teams and organizations, it helps consolidate their mission narrative. And for the wider audience, it introduces them to technologies that are currently being researched. 
Now an important part of this visualization is story. People don't remember data, but they do remember stories and they tell them to their friends. That's how ideas spread and that's how ideas about the future are shared. Now if you'd like to learn more, I'll be very happy to talk with you. Meanwhile, I want to say thank you to John for inviting me to this conference and a big thank you to you for watching. Thank you very much. Thank you.